So we're going to use a little model here. This is just a TheraBand with some uh, Sharpie markings here to represent normal contractile tissue with no tendinosis present. So this is normal fibers expanding and contracting. There's no cross linkage. It pulls normally. There is no tendinosis present. So we've now put in place a tendinosis. So this is what we're going to see if you think about it internally with scar tissue formed here you can already see that it's contracting some of the tissues together. There's cross linkage all over the place so it will not contract or extend properly like it normally would. You can see as you try and pull it everything's kind of sticking together especially these fibers here where the normal fibers here they don't hurt but as soon as that stretch goes through this piece of tendinosis right here that's what's going to give you the ouch because it's actually pulling on fibers that cannot stand tensile force it doesn't have the strength like these outside fibers with no cross linkage no excess collagen fibers laid down randomly around here around here it's just that area here that's what a tendinosis looks like so this is going to be your beginning phase like on the chart that we had gone over earlier if you're looking at the chart and you're looking at this piece right here here that's what this represents it's representing the initial phase of a tendinosis so this is representative now of after a week or two of performing repeated movements at home you're gonna have a reorganization of tissue and the replacement of the tendinosis fibers represented by the pink little pieces right here and replaced with higher quality tissue which is represented by the flat the black fibers there and whenever you're actually doing a contraction you can see that it's a little bit more efficient the black fibers actually go in the direction of pull while the pink fibers they'll still pull and create some cross linkage and create some pain if you pull enough but this is represented on the chart similar to here so here, here, you can see that there's more high quality tissue, just like here. Less of the disorganized collagen fibers, less of the pink in here. And that's what a remodeling piece of a tendinosis will look like. If you think about it internally, that's what it's going to look like. Representative of the third stage of remodeling, you've got more well organized tissue, and you've got less of the dysfunctional tissue represented by the pink. Less cross linkage that's going to be painful when you actually contract or load the tissue. So when you actually do contract you can see that the black fibers themselves they lengthen perfectly like the other fibers surrounding it. And this is when you're really going to have to add a lot of excessive load or especially more eccentric loading in this phase so that you can really remodel that last little bit of the dysfunctional tissue. What you'll look at on the chart is right about here. So you can see that's a lot of nice high quality tissue, less of the dysfunctional tissue. It'll look more like this under a microscope, a lot less like this under a microscope. So you've got to find the right type of load to actually apply the force to give you the ouch gone, ouch gone type of scenario that you're looking for when you're doing the appropriate exercise. So now we're looking at the whole goal of utilizing the dysfunction model and looking at a tendinosis and trying to remodel that tissue. As you can see now we've got nothing but high quality tissue that runs in the same lines of the surrounding tissue. It can take tensile strength and tensile forces without actually having any of those cross-linked pieces of tissue pulling and creating any pain. So this is going to be the tissue that's going to be basically fixed. You can load it as much as you want. You can do eccentric loading. You can do long sustained stretches on this tissue. It will not respond with pain because it's just normal regular tissue just like the surrounding pieces. If you're looking at the chart, it corresponds to here. So under a microscope, it would look like this. That's good, solid tissue. That's the whole goal of using this dysfunction model, is to get that tissue to go from damaged tissue 
low quality collagen that's unorganized to this high quality tissue that can actually contract, it can stretch, and it will not produce pain and it will act just like the surrounding tissue.